One of the cool features that the IFD540 provides is the ability to make a hold anywhere. So right now you can see that we're flying out of Austin, Texas, and as we're flying on Victor 76, ATC comes across and tells us to hold at industry, uh, which is IDU on the screen here. So what I can do is I can go in and wherever I highlight this highlighter, I can either touch the screen or press in my FMS knob. When I do that, of course, the selection of everything I can do comes up. I'm going to go and put it on the hold page. Once I have the hold at industry, I press that in. Now I've put the hold in there. So if we go and take a preview of that, notice we have the magenta line, which is what we're currently doing. Then we also have the candy cane magenta in white, which says what we're going to do next. So as you can see here, it's right hand turns for a minute. It puts in a standard right hand turn on the side. Now if we want to go and make changes to this, we can change this to a left hand turn quickly and easily by touching the screen. I can also turn this knob and select it that way. Uh, but I can also go in and I can change uh, the leg. So if I wanted to change it to five minutes, I can change it to left hand turns for five minutes. Um, so now if we go back to the page, you'll notice that the hold will look similar, except of course it's a lot longer. Um, but one of the other big changes that you can make is the hold direction. So this is more giving you more of a standard, but for some reason, um, if there was a change to it and you wanted to change the turns, you can go in and change those. So if I change it to 360, watch what this does to um, how I'm entering. And now you can see where the next active leg is. So it's gonna show you how you're gonna be entering and where the autopilot's going to be flying the plane if you have GPS steering. So not only does it show you what the active leg is, magenta, but then what it's going to do next. That's very helpful in letting you identify what the plane's going to do before it's done. Uh, it's helpful in situations here where you're doing a hold en route, uh, but where it's really helpful is if you're doing a hold as you're doing a procedure turn into uh, for an approach. It gives you a lot more information, it makes you clear and gives you better situa situational awareness of where the plane is and where it's going to go.